Mark Hi, I'm Kenny. I'm producer at Signosis, and this is Nova Storm. Nova Storm is the fastest Z Buffered full motion video shoot 'em up you're ever likely to see. The team we've put together to produce this game are all experts in their field. Hi, my name's Paul Hilton. I'm the gameplay director or game director on Nova Storm. Basically, I try and ensure that the game's the best it can be by um, making sure the difficulty level's set correctly so as not to frustrate people too much, but make sure that the game's playable and fun. What makes Nova Storm different then? Basically, instead of just a film being played in the background, you can interact with the film as if it was a true 3D world. You can't shoot through a brick wall in real life. Why should you do it on this game? Consequently, your bullets will collide with the scenery, scenery you'll collide with the scenery. And we use that to great effect as the game goes on. You start off on nice sort of uh, quite sparse landscapes, and as the game continues, it gets harder and harder and harder. There's more obstacles we put in your path. There's more thought, there's more control, and there's more flight. OK. We had a choice at the beginning of Nova Storm whether to do this as a 3D world, real-time environment where you have full control as a pilot. But we thought about it a while and thought, well, what's the cost of doing a game like that? You lose graphics, and at the end of the day, graphics have a lot of appeal. They can bring a universe to life. They can bring an environment to life. And as you can see from Nova Storm, I think we've blended both graphics and gameplay into a perfect game that's going to have you hooked for hours. Another thing that we wanted to ensure is that when you bought this product and put it in your machine, it's going to work. So the program has devised a system which requires no installation, no background knowledge of PCs. You just plug in and play, basically. There's no installation to your hard drive, except if you want to record your high scores for prosperity. Um, you put the CD in, you type a simple command, and the game runs. This is a CD game. The CD is almost full. There's no way you could fit this on your hard drive, even if you wanted to. My name is um, Oliver. I'm one of the two programmers on the project. Uh, our job is to take the graphics and the music from the, the artists and bring it all together as this, as the, the finished game. Like, we, we've tried to get a feel of a good 2D shooter map in a nice 3D full motion video backdrop game. There's a lot of sprites, a lot of action as you can see, um, a lot of interesting power-ups, got lots of weapons in there, and uh, it's just fun to play. The challenges that, that this game gave, being on a, on a PC, been so difficult to work with, it's, it's certainly, for me, has been um, by far the most difficult and challenging product that I've worked on. We've spent a lot of time on the, the, the video compression routines and, and things, and this is the result. The quality of the graphics that you see here is the same that you will get off a single-speed CD drive. Hello, I'm Rick Eade and I'm responsible for all the music and sound effects in Nova Storm. At Signosis we have our own recording studio, which is digital, where all of the music and sound effects for Nova Storm are recorded. There are over 70 pieces of music and over an hour was worth of music and sound effects in the game. I'm uh, Chris Brown, I'm one of the animators and graphic artists on uh, Nova Storm and I worked mainly with the um, Alias 3D animation package to produce um, <clears throat> the flight paths across landscapes and the end of level guardians. And the beauty about Alias is I was able to morph things. Here you can see this thing is actually morphing shape, changing shape. And I thought I would start off this particular guardian as almost innocent looking. And then as it approaches you, these spikes grow out of it and it becomes more menacing and then suddenly you realise you've got to shoot the centre of this um, as a target to destroy it like that. One of the best uses and best examples of uh, 
the Z depth collision detection comes really at the very end of the game where the, the real bad guy, Scanabex himself in Nova Storm, actually reaches out and tries to hit you here. As you can see, they should try to avoid him, but he can actually hit you, he can actually touch you and collide with you. And so as a player, you're trying to avoid the film. You find that you're trying to avoid the film, and you're not trying to avoid, as in most games, a sprite. You are actually playing along now with the film. But from our point of view, we thought it was really good to get this Z-Depth in there so that we could have the films interacting with the player. What I've tried to do as my role as game director on Nova Storm and as a games player myself is a produced product that both I can be proud of and as a consumer you can thoroughly enjoy playing. And I hope that's what we've done and I hope you'll have as much enjoyment playing it as we've had creating it.